Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a early game strategy which you can do with GOAT and it's pretty nutty and I wanted to show you that, so hang on with me. So the first thing I want you to do is build a scout camp and nothing else. And while the scout camp is getting built, I want you to look for the middle of the map which you can see through the shadows. Then you're gonna send two scouts towards the middle as fast as possible, so you are there first. The next two buildings you're gonna build are the house and the woodcutter's launch. The timing of these two buildings are very important though. You only want to build them when the sixth person is 45% on the way. After those buildings are completed, I want you to send one scout back and scout everything around you with the other scout and send two villagers into the woodcutter's launch. Then take a tile if you haven't already and build a sheep fold on it. If there's no sheep on the second free tile, like where no wolves are on it, you're just gonna build a regular food resource building, like a farm for example. And if you find sheep or even one sheep, you're gonna just build another sheep fold. After that, a barracks. And now the trickiest part is gonna start, the clearing. A good way to estimate how many wolves you can kill is when you think that one wolf is worth 10 gold of spending for warriors. So in my case I have 11 wolves around me, so I need approximately 110 gold to clear those. And the fact that you have 120 to 130 gold by the end of summer, you can clear all of them. But there's only two ways to do it. The first way is when you recruit two warriors let them die, make two warriors again, and then let one survive, like with one HP, and then do one more warrior in addition. With that strategy, you can kill approximately 13 wolves and only costs 115 gold. And the other strategy which I do in this video is when you recruit two warriors, let one survive with one HP, recruit another one, let one survive with one HP, and recruit another one, which costs 120 gold but you can kill 14 wolves instead of uh, 13 with the other strategy so it doesn't actually really matter what you do but when it matters is when you recruit two let them die recruit two let them die and recruit two again and if you do that it costs 135 dollars or wait dollars i mean crowns and it would be really inefficient to wait for 135 gold um, in the winter and fighting in the winter is bad as well. So if you would have more than 14 wolves in a game, I would wait until the winter ends and clear the rest after that. And as you can see I have 6 tiles right now, about to have 100 food as well, so I can get my 7th tile um, after the winter easily and 7 tiles is all you need in the game. And this is it. After that you can do whatever you want to and feel free to experiment around. Have fun guys!